Fence. We're going to show you a uh, Walter Fence demonstration. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Where is it on my... Uh, there it is. Okay, here's a, a little, little demo with, uh, uh, by Walter Fent that shows a, a generator. If you look, there's a, uh, um, a little hand crank. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, some, some old um, radios, at least I used to see them in old, the old combat episodes, where they hand crank, hand crank a portable radio just to get energy to it. Um, you can uh, uh, you can show the generator. Um, uh, we can speed it up. Uh, speeds up a little bit. You can see um, the little blue dot on the little sinusoid up uh, up at top is showing you the. Um, it corresponds to the little voltmeter going positive and negative, swinging back and forth. Now, let's do it with a commutator. Uh, we we showed a DC um, a DC um, a DC motor with a commutator, uh, and it was it was used to always keep running. If you look at we put the commutator here on the generator, you can see that it, the 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 uh, the negative going sign you say so it get all get flipped up to the top and it's just a, a positive voltage at all times you can see the little voltmeter just continues to go to the to the right to the positive side as you crank it so that's really the only thing you can do other than uh you can do it without a com commutator or with a commutator and that changes the uh the sinusoid into the one that is a bouncing hop. The only the only other thing you can do is change the rotation and change what you display, whether it's the magnetic field, the direction of motion, um, and the induced current. Uh, it just takes away the little red arrows. Um, but uh, uh, you can see the red arrows uh, change without the commutator. Do they change with the commutator? Mm. Looks like they do. No, they don't. They keep going in the same direction. Okay, and that's it for uh, the Walter Fent demonstration.